knew you were hiding. <laughs> What is up, guys? Back again with another vlog. Uh, I'm here with Chris. Yo. So uh, get used to him if uh, oh. if you're not yet, because uh, you know you're gonna be seeing this this big lug fairly uh, fairly normally now if you want to watch these vlogs. But uh, yeah, got locals again. Uh, it's Wednesday. <sighs> B troopers. Okay, playing B Troopers this week. I'm gonna see what I can do first week on them. Uh, I know generally a lot of the, the combo lines. I just gotta execute it well and make the right decisions when something wrong happens, like a hand trap, etc. all that stuff, but it's gonna be good. Uh, we'll check back in with Chris later. He plays Salamangrates. Uh, hasn't changed his deck in like three weeks since I built it for him, so yikes. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, back with a little bit of, uh, of results. Um, we are two rounds in. Uh, round one, give you the recap real quick. Round one, we got about 21, 22 players tonight. Round one played against Virtual World. Game one was so brutal. Won the die roll, went first. Uh, Open double imperm, double scale bomber, and Godarla going first. So I literally just hard passed. I'd rather just uh, not even set the... Um, the uh, the uh, imperms and, and see how it goes. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Um, lost that one super, super quick. It wasn't even a match. Game two, much more of a match, but it was a grindy one. Went first, did a couple things, and uh, it just didn't work out. I'm here with Chris. What's up? <laughs> uh, so yeah, round one was just not good. Um, round two, round game two, I opened like super mediocre. I couldn't even set up a full board. He didn't even have an interruption. Uh, but I did get the flying sting at least, but he opened um, Twin Twisters. Didn't know what I was playing, so he sided Twin Twisters not knowing what I was playing, and I was like, bruh, bruh. Um, so I lost that one 2-0, it was really unfortunate. I just drew awful game one and game two, just it, mediocre as hell. Um, and then game two, me and, uh, round two, me and Chris, buddy. Every time, it feels like every time me and Chris go together, we end up uh, dueling. My hands Always are so shaky, way. guys, I apologize for that. Um, but uh, Chris is on salad. Game one, just kind of clapped him up. Won the die roll, Clapped. went went combo. He didn't have any hand traps and just kind of, it didn't last very long. I uh, hit him with a retaliating C. He couldn't do much without putting like everything in grave and yeah. it didn't last much longer than that. And then game two was a hell of a grind. My God. The worst. Chris pretty much just opened spinning with a bunch of traps. Um, so he just made semi wolf uh, and then set a bunch. Took me a while to break through a couple of solemn strikes and a roar every single turn but yeah. luckily i just had armor horn in, in grave already so i just kept that activating armor horn and pretty much forcing him to roar that every turn uh, and then i just made an invincible atlas at some point and uh he literally just can't he, he doesn't have access code right now because i'm i'm borrowing the access code and he has underworld goddess as like an out to stuff like that but he just he couldn't get enough monsters on field to ever ever go into the goddess to out the atlas so yeah. it was literally like 10 turns of just Atlas beat down, dealing a little bit of damage every turn, baiting out Balinxes. He had a Desires and he lost both his uh, Jacks. Jack Jaguars. And from there, he just couldn't grind. So eventually ended up taking the dub, um, whittling it down, drew into Resonance Insect, laid a bunch of other stuff. But uh, yeah, so we're one one right now. We started 0-1-1 last time and still got the dub. So if I can just win out from here, we still have a chance. I'm just gonna try and stay focused and make the right plays when I can and yeah, Chris is gonna try and uh, Chris is 0-1 and one. Yeah, I got a I got a freaking tie the first yeah. game. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you're really it's lucky, insane. maybe you could top with a three one one. It's possible. All right, guys, we'll we'll catch back up with you in, <laughs> after the next round, hopefully. Peace. Uh, yeah, peace. Yay! All right, uh, back from round four, another time skip, uh, just because uh, round three went really long. That yeah, round one went really long, so I didn't have time to make a to make a little video about it. Uh, round three went long, so we went right into round four. And yeah, so round three played against Invoked, Dogmatica, Shadal, Eldlich. <clears throat> I really blew it, guys. Uh, he kind of like just dominated me game one. He opened like Alistair with Ecclesia uh, and some Eldlich stuff and just kind of like did some things uh, with hand traps in hand, so it was just tough. I couldn't beat it. Working around the, um, 
the macabre was too hard. He, he held it too long and, and in a good way. Uh, and I didn't have a way to work around it just because he saved it. Um, so I lost game one. Game two, I kind of we kind of grinded for a while, but I literally grind out all of his Eldritch cards because he only opened Eldritch cards. Found an Ecclesia at some point and never could get an, uh, uh, a... Uh, uh, Alistair invoke card uh, to get anything going there and so uh, just kind of got the dub after a, a longer game two uh, and then we went to game three uh, he went first but it was kind of back and forth he kind of like bricked so he just set an Eldritch card and passed but he had hella hand traps in hand uh, so he kind of slowed me down and then we were kind of just in like a stalemate going back and forth he was just trying to turn out the Eldritches and apply pressure that way he dealt me a little bit of damage uh, and I couldn't get back from it um Actually, I could have, and I literally blew it on the last... Literally, as like time was creeping up, I was like, ooh, it's my turn. I had a scale bomber. I didn't activate it when I needed to because I thought I'd be able to extend, and then he dogmatic punishmented the stuff away. Uh, or no, what? He cleared the stuff away or something. I can't even remember now. Uh, whatever. Whatever it was, I missed my chance to summon the scale bomber, and I would have... Because he was summoning, summoning Eldritch and summoning the... Um, the uh, Conquistador, while popping a Sting Lancer, I had a second Sting Lancer, so I could clear those two, but I had nothing to poke in at that point. And if I, I needed 800 damage to poke in for game, and obviously Scale Bomber is 12, and I would have been able to just get it done. See you, man. Uh, so, tough loss there. Then we go to round four, played against Salad again, played Chris. Yee, earlier that was easy dub easy 2-0 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this one was kind of the same I'm gonna lie yeah, it was. It uh, was. <laughs> went uh, lost the die roll he opted second I think just for testing purposes he was just kind of like I want to go second more with Sal get better at playing into boards which I get it totally uh, the kind of testing you're looking for it's honestly adjust it go second like opt second on the die roll to get that experience um, but uh, kind of just went full combo, didn't open any hand traps, and retaliating, see, he opened like uh, uh, Will, we used Will really early, and then I just dropped the retaliating, see, and he was just, he just couldn't do anything without banishing his whole field, and it wouldn't have been worth at that point, so um, he just kind of passed, he beat over the, the max, uh, the, the retaliating, see, I got a free search for it for follow-up, and just kind of like OTK'd him on the next turn, then we go to game two, um, Game two. Game two, he, like, sort of bricked. He opted first this time, uh, and he, I think he just passed. And he had, like, three hand traps in hand, including, like, no, no, he had Rage. Shoot, what did he have in hand? Rage. Oh, Dark Ruler, Called by the Grave, Ash Valor. <laughs> so he hard passed, and I OTK'd him through Ash Valor. Uh, drew Sting Lancer for turn and uh, also summoned Sting Lancer and just beat him in. He, he didn't know exactly where to hand trap the deck. He honestly did decent things. He hit the armor horn, uh, but he did ash the just draw one effect of, uh, of Pico Felina. He definitely should have waited until I used Atlas to ash because then he, he would have at least kept me off lethal. Um, but I don't think it really would have mattered. I don't think he had a single draw in his deck that would have saved him. Maybe Desires into two Nuts cards with a healthy Desires Banish. Maybe. But, like, I, other than that, I don't see uh, a draw in his deck that would have saved him. So, easy 2-0 dub. Um, yeah, moving on. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> How you doing, Chris? What you... I'm 2-1-1. I'm so it's enough of him. It's enough of him. He's got one more round. 3-1-1 might be enough with tiebreakers with awesome. somebody. We'll see. Possible. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm already out for uh, top cut. I can try and go 3-2 here. I just want to get the experience with Beat Troopers. Played much better this round. Uh, huge misplays, obviously, in the round before that cost me. I should have had the dub. Should have been 3-1 right now. Uh, but what are you going to do? Uh, so let's just try and finish strong. 3-2. Uh, get a winning record with the Beat Troopers and uh, be happy with it. Why do I always want... Pokemon merch. Why do I just want like a million plushies? I mean, realistically. What's wrong with me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, locals is over. Uh, got the dub last round. Played against. I don't know. I didn't watch. What did I play against? Oh my god. Chris, help me. You dubbed out, dude. I don't remember. What? I'm thinking through the faces I saw. Son of a bitch. Um, oh, I played against Virtual World again. This guy was playing a really weird version with like Mirror Force and Torrential Tribute in uh, Virtual World. The whole goal is just set up Shen Shen uh, with the traps, uh, and then your opponent has to beat a nasty Floodgate with some nasty like trap cards. I actually did play in a Torrential once, but I, I had the uh, 
Invincible Atlas because we always have Invincible Atlas, so I just did not really care that much about it. Um, so it worked out, but 3-2, uh, I will take it. I've yet to uh, go to this. I'd let, I've yet to have a, a losing record at these locals, so I will take that for sure. Uh, it's not a good 3-2, obviously. Like, going in the last round, 2-2, two, two, you have no chance to top. I got 7th, though, out of, like, 21, 22 at the end of the day. Yeah, Chris, Chris got 5th. He ended up 3-1-1. He won out after uh, starting 0-1-1. So. I won out! Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they just gave him a pity a pity prize because he, he tied record wise but he lost on tie records and the, the owners like Chris so uh, a little bit of favoritism there whatever um, <laughs> uh, yeah so that's it 3-2 uh, not bad uh, if you want to see the deck list real quick I obviously have a more in-depth profile on the channel uh, that I uploaded a couple days ago so check that out I'll link it in the description but also uh, here's a picture of the profile real quick if you just want to see what I played boom and yeah that's it. Uh, Chris? <laughs> I want out! <laughs> See you guys. Look at this little nub, dude. Look at this little fucking nub right here. Unbelievable. Okay. That is enough. That is enough.